find the cardinality of each of the following sets. Remember, the cardinality just means the number of elements in that set. In the first set, we can count them easily. There are four. Let me write the notation n of a equals four. In part b, it looks like there are five elements, but really there are only three distinct elements. And remember, in a set, there's no reason to list one element more than once. So really, this is just the set two, three, and four. So there are only three distinct elements, so the cardinality is three. Part C, you notice that not all of the elements are listed, but it's easy to see the pattern. It's all of the integers starting at 31 and ending at 50. We can count them by hand, but we can also do some subtraction to figure out how many there are. Now, I'll caution you, you may be tempted to say 58 minus 31 equals 27 and say that there are therefore 27 elements in the set. However, this is not correct. There are actually 28 elements. To see this, picture the number line starting at 31 and then 32 and so on up to 58. If I subtract 58 minus 31, what I'm doing is finding how far it takes to get from the end of 58 to the end of 31. But I want from the end of 58 to just before 31, which is really right after 30. So I should take 58 minus 30 to get 28. This is a, a trick that you can use to figure out how many numbers there are between two given numbers. But picture it as mile markers. Having passed mile marker 31 and passed mile marker 58, you could subtract those two. But if you want to know how far it is from before mile marker 31, i.e. after mile marker 30, to 58, you'd subtract 58 minus 30. Or you could just count these up by hand more slowly, but either way you should find that there are 28 elements in set C. So we'll write n of C equals 28. Part D, the empty set has no elements in it, so its cardinality is 0.